Dear students, now we are going to discuss characteristics of TM waves in rectangular waveguide. TM means transverse magnetic. Okay. So transverse magnetic waves are the waves in which the magnetic field is entirely transverse in the direction of propagation. Here we can consider the wave is propagating in the z direction. Then the magnetic field in the z direction becomes zero and it has only the electric field in the direction of propagation. Do you all understand this concept? So the condition for transverse magnetic waves are given like this. Hz is equal to zero and Ez is not equal to zero. Okay. So next we are going to derive the characteristics of TEM waves, propagation constant, cutoff frequency, cutoff wavelength, velocity of propagation and wave impedance. Okay. So the first one is propagation constant. As we have already derived the TEM waves field equations in the last lecture video, we have assumed that value H squared minus A squared is equal to B squared. So we can take that value over here. H squared minus A squared is equal to B squared. Then we can move this A squared to this side. Then we can get H squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Consider this as the first equation. Okay. As we know that H squared is also equal to gamma squared plus omega squared mu epsilon. Okay. From this we can get the value of this gamma. Gamma squared is equal to what now? H squared minus omega squared mu epsilon. Then we have to substitute that first equation that is H squared value in this equation. Correct? So H squared is equal to what? A squared plus B squared. Okay? Then we can write gamma squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus omega squared mu epsilon. Then we can take square root on both the sides. Gamma is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared minus omega squared mu epsilon. We have already obtained the values of A and B. In the TEM field equations derivation part, we can directly use those values here. So here A is equal to N by by B, B is equal to M by by A. We can substitute these two values in this equation. Then we can get gamma is equal to square root of N by by B the whole square plus M by by A the whole square minus omega square mu epsilon. This is the propagation constant for rectangular waveguide, especially for TEM waves. Okay. So next at low frequency range this m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square is far greater than omega square mu epsilon. For small frequency range this propagation constant is having only the real term there is no phase term. So here it is having the attenuation value alpha that is equal to square root of m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square. Since these two values are far greater than omega squared mu epsilon. As the gamma is equal to the real term, there is no wave propagation. So at low frequency, there is no wave propagation. Next, cutoff frequency Fc. It is defined as the frequency at which there is no propagation of wave through the waveguide. So it is the lowest frequency range at which there is no wave propagation. Whenever this frequency is equal to cutoff frequency, here the propagation constant becomes zero. Then we can write the propagation constant value square root of m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square minus omega c squared mu epsilon is equal to zero. Because at this cutoff frequency range, this omega is denoted as omega suffix c. Okay. Then we have to square on both the sides. We can get the value like this m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square minus omega c square mu epsilon is equal to zero. Then we can move this value to this side as a plus. We can get omega c square mu epsilon is equal to m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square. Then we can move this mu epsilon to this side as a denominator. Then omega c square is equal to 1 by mu epsilon into m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square. Then we can take square root on both the sides to get omega c value. So omega c is nothing but 2 pi fc. Correct? From this we can get the value of cutoff frequency fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi square.
square root of mu epsilon into square root of m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square. This is important formula to find out the cutoff frequency for TM waves in the rectangular waveguide. Okay, it is very very important formula. Okay, so whenever the frequency is less than or equal to cutoff frequency, there is no wave propagation. Whenever the frequency is greater than the cutoff frequency, then the propagation takes place. And here the propagation constant gamma is equal to j into beta. That means it has only the phase constant. Okay. So next, for f is greater than f c, that means at high frequency range, this gamma becomes j beta that is equal to the gamma formula is what? Square root of m by, by a the whole square plus n by, by b the whole square minus omega square mu epsilon. Then we have to take minus as a common one from this terms to make this j here. Okay, so then this term becomes square root of minus of this omega square mu epsilon. This term becomes minus and here it becomes minus. As we all know that square root of minus is equal to what? J. Then we can write the value here. J beta is equal to J into square root of omega square mu epsilon minus M by by A the whole square minus N by by B the whole square. Okay. Then we can cancel this J term. Then the phase shift constant beta is equal to square root of omega square mu epsilon minus M by by A the whole square N by by B the whole square. Okay, this is also important formula to find out the phase shift constant for this TEM waves in rectangular waveguide. Here A and B are the dimensions of the rectangular waveguide. Okay, A and B are the dimensions of the rectangular waveguide. We can take that value like this. Okay, so this is what A and B. Okay, next cutoff wavelength. It is the wavelength at the cutoff frequency. It is denoted as lambda C is equal to C by FC. Then we can substitute the value of this cutoff frequency. Okay. Lambda C is equal to C by FC value is 1 by 2 pi square root of mu epsilon square root of m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square. As we all know that within the waveguide the wave is propagating through the vacuum region. That means C is equal to 1 by square root of mu epsilon. Here we can consider it is the vacuum. Okay. So here we can write this 1 by square root of mu epsilon as C. Okay. So lambda C is equal to C divided by C by 2 pi square root of M by by A the whole square plus N by by B the whole square. Then this C and this C divided each other. Then this 2 pi goes to this numerator. We can get the value lambda C is equal to 2 pi pi square root of m by by a the whole square plus n by by b the whole square. Next, the velocity of propagation. So here the velocity is the ratio of omega to beta. Okay, so angular frequency to the phase shift constant. So we have to substitute the value of this beta. What is the beta value? Square root of omega square mu epsilon minus m by by a the whole square minus n by by b the whole square. Okay, so this is the velocity of propagation for TM waves in rectangular waveguide. So next, dominant mode. So what is mean by dominant mode? So it is the mode which is having the lowest cutoff frequency that is called as dominant mode. Okay, where the first propagation starts. That point is known as dominant mode. So here for TM waves, the dominant mode is TM11. Okay, this 1, 1 is nothing but the value of, so here it is the value of M and N. Okay, then the last one, characteristics wave impedance for the TEM waves. Okay, so here Z TEM is equal to the ratio of electric field to the magnetic field. So EX to HY, that can be written like this, minus EY by HX. Okay, if we are going to take the reverse direction, we have to use minus sign. So its value is Z TM is equal to eta into square root of 1 minus FC by F the whole square. Here eta is nothing but intrinsic impedance of the waveguide. So its value is 120 pi or 377 ohm. So this is also very important formula to find out the wave impedance of TM waves. Okay, we can solve problems using these formulas. 
okay